everywhere, clearly. So my answer to that first question of, you know, how many electrical devices do you have on you at the moment is one for the surface, two for the remote, three for the microphone, four for the pen, and if you count my phone over in my jacket pocket in the corner, uh, five. One, two, three, yeah, five. Five. So I've got five. Six, my watch. Six. So I've got six different electrical circuits on me right now, if you count my phone in my jacket pocket there. Um, moreover, there's a bunch of stuff that you might not think of as being an electric circuit, but we can analyze using the properties of circuits that we're going to discuss over the course of this unit. So we're going to, we will be able to draw a rough circuit and think about a neuron as a circuit. You can do that. Uh, cell membrane ion transport. A cell membrane is essentially a capacitor. That's pretty much what they are. And so we'll be able to talk a little bit about cell membranes in that context. So we can even talk about some other stuff. There's not a whole lot of new fundamental physics in this unit. We're mostly going to be dealing with this expression right here, that if I put a charge in a potential, I get a potential energy. That's going to be the vast majority of what we're going to be working with. And then we'll introduce what a current is, but other than that, not a lot of new deep fundamental principles. It's really a lot of application of those ideas and seeing how things work.